Why do you hate the battle mode? I don't know. I just never liked it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Welcome to Dusty Gamers. If you guys Wait. like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, Donkey Kong Jr. So, I never realized it was Donkey Kong Jr. Yeah, press start again. I didn't know that either. But uh, his little white, white shirt's how you know it's Donkey Kong Jr. Mm. And they they uh, they asked the creators why they picked Donkey Kong Jr. And he's like, uh, I think it had something to do with the white shirt. And they're like, well, you told somebody else it had something to do with the uh, 10th anniversary. And he's like, oh, I'm sure that was a reason too. <laughs> uh, so or originally, uh, this game was kind of developed as a, uh, they wanted to make a two-player racer. Uh-huh. So they, they took a lot of the designs of F-Zero, and they, they started working from okay, that, fuck. but they realized they couldn't have the long tracks that F-Zero had, so that's why the tracks are, like, all bendy and stuff in this one. Like, they're a lot shorter. What I didn't realize, and um, we've had the discussion a bunch of times about how much I hate split-screen, is, is Mario Kart never has a full screen. No. And I didn't even occur to me... Um, if you play one player, it puts a map on the other screen. Yeah, Angie pointed that out. I thought it was really weird. Like, I, I forgot all about it, like, honestly. So, I didn't, that, so that's another way that the game's really, really built for two players. Uh, originally, it was just a kart racing game with, like, like dudes. <laughs> they made it carts because they wanted to keep it, like, slow for the weird twisty turns makes sense. And then uh, along the way, somewhere along the way they decided to make it a Mario Kart game. Because it was before it was obvious to make a Mario genre for every game. You know, it was before Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, Mario this, Mario that. Mm -hmm. Mario Kart's kind of what blew them out. So they had to kind of create the blueprint for all those games that are like, you know, who do we put in this game? Oh, we got Yoshi, Bowser, <laughs> Donkey Kong Jr. Which... Is never. I don't think it's been in a game since. Right. Uh, I, and they said they added a Koopa Troop because they just ran out of ideas. Like they, which I like the Koopa Troop, but I like them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They're I do like too. they just threw a Koopa Troop in there. I usually don't use uh, either of the slow fat guys because they they're basically they're the uh, slow acceleration but highest top speed. No, I, don't, I don't like them. I like the I like the guys that have fast acceleration. Um, uh, Mario, Mario, and Luigi have like balanced stats. Ow. And the Koopa Troop, I think, and Yoshi have, or is it to Toad and Koopa Troop? I have the fastest acceleration. I always use Yoshi. Yeah, I use a lot of Yoshi too. I kind of mix around. I like Toad also. Toad, Koopa Troopa, and Yoshi. Oh, fuck did I spin out? Pretty much race with anybody but Luigi and the princess. Honestly, don't know if I've ever used a princess in Mario Kart. I don't know if I've ever used Donkey Kong Jr., honestly, either, because normally I'd pick Bowser if I was going to pick one of the big guys. Right. I definitely use Donkey Kong in, like, the Wii and Wii U version. Yeah. So this uh this one doesn't have a lot of rubber banding in it. I don't honestly believe it has any rubber banding in it because you can you can get crazy ass ahead of the fucking computer. Uh, I'm not sure how it works, but I know I've I've pretty much lapped people in this fucking game. I did. Yeah. On the last uh. You one. fucking motherfucker. Yeah, you're gonna pass me again though. Can't manage to fucking stay on the track. They right said now. they had a, they had like normal racers with like overalls, <laughs> and they said they like uh, uh, had di they had different helmets to see it, the difference between them. Yeah, and it wasn't working for them. It's pretty funny. And then they came up with the idea of using Mario. It was funny because Mario made a lot of cameos in games back then. He was in Punch Out and stuff, but uh, Punch Out used him. Without asking. Did they really? Yeah. They just put him in there and said nobody noticed instead of take it out. 
they ask for and then, uh, like, forgiveness instead of permission. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hungry. All of a I am too. Doo -doo -doo. I'm always hungry though. I'm a big fat guy. I had a shitty experience at Taco Bell yesterday, man. Yeah, fuck Taco Bell. I don't even go there. I went there and they, uh, first off, they said they were out of beans and rice, and I was really craving like a giant burrito. And then my backup plan was nachos, and that's that's rice and beans both ways. <laughs> it's like. And they, it was way before they closed, because they closed stupid late on Fridays, or Saturdays. Well, they closed stupid late on every night. Yeah, but even stupid later on Fridays and Saturdays. Oh, do they? Yeah, the oh, weekend, okay. they're like, it's like almost four in the morning or some shit, and I was there, it's only like midnight or one. I got you. Uh, so I ordered I ordered uh, beef quesadilla, which I've never ordered before, but I thought it'd be a lot like their chicken quesadillas. Uh-huh. They're not. They're, it's like a mini. It's They gave me like a mini... Cost me like two dollars for two of them, and I thought they were gonna be like the big ones, like the chicken quesadillas. Yeah, and they were like little tiny motherfuckers. So I immediately, uh. I, I I gave him a weird look when he told me it was two bucks, and then when I saw what I got, I was like, oh, I guess I'm going to Burger King. Oh, Burger King sounds good right now. <laughs> totally went to Burger King. Burger King, our Burger King's weird. Every time I go there lately, I guess it's always in the middle of the night. They're like cash only. Which makes me suspect they're stealing money. <laughs> um, I know when I worked at McDonald's uh -huh. in the middle of the night, um, we reset our systems. Yeah, and it, to stay open, we would have we either didn't accept credit cards or we were cash only. So we actually just closed. <laughs> um, when I did it at Jack in the Box, you had to run it in tonight, but I. I you were down for like the 10 minutes or whatever while you closed. Ours was like an hour. Yeah. And it seems like no matter what time of night I go there, it's always cash only. It's really weird. I don't know. Maybe they're doing something different. Damn. I do like the Whoppers, though. I've been getting the Texas Whopper or yeah, the jalapenos, jalapenos and stuff. Okay. But I take the jalapenos. Jalapenos kill me. I, I get it with no pickles, no mustard. And then I, when I get there, I open it up and take the jalapenos off and then randomly I'll put a jalapeno on it as I feel necessary. So this is the game. Uh, first off, <laughs> Blake's gonna Blake's heard the story a million times. We're actually going to record. This is going to be one of the first games. This on. was the first game. I don't think we put this up, though. This was going to be one of the first games oh, we were going to do on Dusty Gamers back yeah. when we were doing movies and a game. Game and watch. And we we watched... Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph. I believe we put the Wii U version up, didn't we not? I don't know, but we were going to... I wanted to play this game. And I've told him this story a bunch of times, but this is the game when I lived in Mustang, the, the store called and said I Oh, God. I, I, kept I it. love this story, though. So, <laughs> and I did. I pretty much did. So I, I returned a game to their box and... In a, without the game. It was an accident, though, right? No, I'm pretty sure I did it on purpose. <laughs> um, I had the game forever, and then I finally returned it, but I returned it without the game, like, just the case. And I'm pretty sure they turned it in without checking, which probably got somebody in trouble. And then, like, two weeks later, they called me and were like, we know you have the game. Like it was like one of those bizarre things you would see on TV where they're like, they call you up and they're like, return our game. And it's like not the biggest thing in the world, but for the rental people, it is. Right. So they called me, and I'm the way the guy, the guy's tone was like, "We know you did it on purpose. <laughs> like return our Mario Kart." <laughs> it was like really funny and aggressive. <laughs> but I hardly ever rented at that place, anyways. They were kind of assholes. Was it like a family video type? Yeah, place most or? of them back then were local mom and pop owned type places, or they were they were like attempts at being a chain, but. It was hard for anybody to get a foothold with Blockbuster. Uh, I went to... Mustang was full of them. The place we always... I mean, we obviously went to, you know, Blockbuster. with, But with my dad, my dad shopped at Homeland. Uh-huh. And he would... Or I guess it would, probably was Albertsons, now that I think about it. But it doesn't matter. Local chain grocery store. Uh, and, you know, he was single dad. Not... Or, yeah, like, weekend dad. Uh-huh. So... When he picked us up on either Friday afternoon or Saturday morning, depending on what was going on that week, uh, we'd go to the grocery store and get uh, 
groceries, then he would we'd stop off and we'd either rent a couple of movies or a game or whatever. So we always went to this stupid little, like, little tiny like rental shop stores? inside the grocery store. Oh yeah, those were always the terrible. This everywhere, was, everywhere we rent from are the places you would rent video games from, like the big places. This one actually wasn't as bad as most of them. This was one of the better have, of those. I had, of I used to have like sort basically a a rental place fetish because um, we we ne- we always rented video games and I n- never owned them, almost never did. So like, if, if I all the Nintendo games I played, all because I was a huge fan. It was all just constantly renting, just renting, renting, renting. It was like, Mom, can you take me back to Blockbuster or wherever? And I, I just remember, like, uh, like when we lived in California back before, like, Blockbuster was huge there, too. They had, like, mom and pop places. They all had their own style, so you never know if they were going to carry, like, they all carry different stuff. You drive, like, all the way out somewhere weird because they might have Zelda in stock. But that was, like, uh, when there was older people in my life who were still renting stuff. Right. So they would drive all the way out to fucking BFE to try to find Super Mario 3 or Zelda because those shit was always rented out. Dude, Super Mario 3 was legitly rented out in Mustang for like a year straight. Like it was always out. Right. You can never rent Super Mario 3. <laughs> they would have tons of copies. Always, always rented out. If it came in, they'd call somebody and be like, you're the next in line, come rent it. Yeah. It's in. I remember like that's it. how absurdly popular running Super Mario 3 was. I remember a waiting list because I was on a waiting list for one of the random PlayStation. It was weird the type of stuff mom and pop stores would do for you back then. Blockbuster had a waiting list too, though. Um, yeah, but like our local Mustang rental place got Final Fantasy 2 in and literally called me and then came and brought it to me. Oh, really? Yeah, like because that was how cool they were, their little mom and pop place. Like I had. Basically, Final Fantasy 2 delivered to my house at one point <laughs> from the rental places that lived by us. And yeah, we always rented out stuff, though. That was the cool place that uh, that had the Super Famicom. It had the Super Nintendo before it even came out. And they had, like, a TV set up in the back with the, Super, the new Super Nintendo that was coming out Playing soon. you in these type of games makes me feel so bad at video games. It took once, once. I know, but you know what I mean, though. I mean, I had I had Donkey Kong Jr., though, who my wasn't playing at my best. <laughs> I'm not very good at this Mario Kart. Because you kind of have to use the drifting a little bit more to, yeah. if you want to get good at it. Oh, the little cork shoots up and pops the... Oh, he doesn't do it in this one. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he takes it out. <laughs> oh, he's juggling! God, that's why God gave you two hands. Yeah, buddy. It's saying congratulations to me, just so you know. I uh, played the hell out of this game for the battle mode. I don't know why you don't like it. I love the battle mode. Never really care for it much. Uh, I, I honestly don't remember any type of game game ever being like this until this one. Like, to me, this was like my first first-person shooter. <laughs> or third-person shooter. So if you've never played Battle Mode, I'm not talking to you, anybody else who's watching. Oh, I, I get that. Um, doing a, if you've never uh, played Battle Mode, your little hype is, life is these little orbs that are next to you. And basically, in order to get a really good shot off, you have to get lucky with the uh, stuff flying around. Or you have to get a red shell. <laughs> and then not miss it. <laughs> yeah, because this one's not as, like, perfect. What are you talking about? Like, you know, on the other, on, like, the Wii U version, it's, like, locked on and very hard to miss it. Yeah. Well, they give you a chance to, like, uh, dodge the fucking shells. Also, this is, back back then, you could devote a long-ass time to driving around in circles, whereas we're a little bit, we're a little bit more like, I want kills now. <laughs> Like back then, like you could, you could, the match could last a long ass time, and you'd still would be like, yeah, whatever. You didn't have five billion other games to get to in a Call of Duty where you could fucking go ham on some people, get a hundred kills. Oh yeah.
Shit. <laughs> You suck. <laughs> Quit screen watching. <laughs> you were standing in front of me. You pretty what much are you got, talking you got about? a screen watch in this game. I was joking. Mm, got me. <laughs> Actually, this this is the only multiplayer like experience where screen watching is not only fair play, but it's only way to play. God damn it! I was trying to get over that side there. Yeah, I mean you got a screen watch. It's why the, it's why it's color coordinated, so you can see where the other guy is. You gotta know he's in the blue sector or whatever. Terrible graphics. Some old school scaling. Shit. <laughs> uh, so bad. I'm stuck. So bad at this. Oh! I thought you were in the same ring as me. Fucking missed. Oh shit. <laughs> yes. How did that fucking woo, get me? Woo, 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 woo. One more to go. So, um, part of my reasons why I hate Mario Kart, like, recently, is because. Suck at it? No. Well, it, they're stupid now because they got all the dumb, like, things that, like, balance them out or whatever. Make sure the people who are last don't feel like they can't win or whatever. All the rubber banding, like the blue shells and shit. Lots of stuff like that in Mario Kart, but when I played Mario Kart, oh 64, no! <laughs> when I when I played Mario Kart 64 for the first time, I figured out that they changed the battle mode, and it wasn't the same, and it wasn't as fun, and it, I just haven't cared about Mario Kart as much. There was I some of the racing's been funner now. Battle like, mode on the Wii, Wii they had was battle really, modes, really but fun. they they changed them so much, it just doesn't feel the same. I think the battle mode on the Wii one was pretty nice. Just haven't. I haven't fell in love with the battle mode in a Mario Kart since the Super Nintendo. I think there's and this, a, this was my mode. I think I also it's a nostalgic trip more than it being good. Well, we played so much of this, we got really good at it. Like, no, no, there no, was no, a no, lot no. of strategy. No, 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 I'm saying then the battle mode being good. Oh, it was good. It has a lot to it. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's really, there's a lot to it, but it's basic at the same point. So when the um, new ones came out, got a little bit more advanced. They're just not as fun. They're dumb. The levels weren't fun. They didn't have the basic map designs and stuff that were fun. I think one of the big problems, too, is they're just too much involved in the new ones. Yeah. Anyway, so that was Mario Kart. Thanks for joining us on our Super Nintendo Classic Edition episodes. We got more to come. <laughs> <laughs>